As you know, if you've been watching this show, I am Dee Collins, affectionately known to many as Pastor Dee, and I am the host of this show, Deuteronomist Woman and Ram Today. And I am just so excited about what you're going to view on this particular special edition, edition because we are really, really talking about damaged places. It is in those places of the depths of your soul that you have been damaged that God has hidden treasure, hidden truth that will launch you right into your destiny. But there are some things that you got to do prior to getting to that promised land. And that is you got to see within your soul and you got to conquer some things. The greater one lives on the inside of you and the greater one lives on the inside of me. And even it tells us in Romans that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. So I want you to sit back for these few minutes because I'm going to do a mini teaching that's M-I-N-I -I, to help you understand about the strongholds that you have been assigned to take over, to possess that land according to Deuteronomy 7 because that is where your destiny lies. Everything that you need from God, the enemy is trying to possess it. And now you got to understand your greatness, particularly as a dunamis woman and the power that you possess. So this mini teaching is going to, going to lead us into some empowerment clinics, empowerment workshops, conferences, because it's a movement. Dunamis Woman and Ram International Ministries is on a movement so we can understand the greatness, know those damaged places, take it back by force. The kingdom of heaven has suffered violence and the violent take it by force. So we will be at a city near you. In the meantime, get a pen, get a paper. D. Collins will give you details about your damaged places. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, here we go again, another special edition teaching about damaged places. This is a special edition because it's a sound in the earth. It's a sound of the voice crying out in the wilderness. And that's God's voice calling and beckoning for his people to be healed within the depths of their soul. No longer can we just have a certain level of healing that causes us to get by. But because of the greatness and because of the call, because of what has been mandated for your life, God has to go deep, 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 deep down in the crack crevices of your soul that healing may take place. Now, you can't do anything uh, according to the kingdom without having an understanding. That's why it says in Proverbs 4, wisdom is the principal thing. And in all thy getting, get an understanding. So we have a lot of people, including yourself, who has great wisdom and you've gotten much wisdom by the things that you've gone through. But now it's time to get an understanding because the things that you have gone through have caused some residue. We have all been inflicted in a land that God said he was sending us to, which strongholds were there. Strongholds have overtaken us. Strongholds has inflicted us. Strongholds have damaged us. And based upon that damage, it's left a place. And that place is very parallel to a land. And when that place has become damaged, then we will begin to operate out of that type of thinking. And when we operate out of that type of thinking, then it either stops a move of God or it aborts a move of God. So before the move of God is aborted, God wants to say, hey, 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 I want you to hear what I'm saying. Because before destruction comes, he always sends a warning. So this is a special edition on damaged places because it's designed to give you insight as Dunamis Woman and Ram International Ministries begin a movement. In 2015, 16, 17, as we continue to go on, it's going to be a movement coming from a city to a city to a city to talk, to teach, to bring healing and deliverance and restoration and most of all freedom to powerful women like unto yourself, dunamis woman like unto yourself, as well as real awesome men, because we need one another. So let's get this, just this journey started because I wanna give you a little snippet. I am here sitting out here in an open land because I want this to be just very, very uh, a visual of, of the land that God has called us to. No residue, nothing but pureness, nothing but holiness. And holiness is not what you dress, your attire, uh, not necessarily your speech, because all those things that we do from the outward is only indicative for what we do from the inward. So if I try to make myself look holy by just wearing covered up things and long skirts and turtlenecks and 90 degree weather and all the fashion that has been deemed relevant to me from a religious point of view, doesn't necessarily constitute that I have a state of purity within my soul. And that's what holy means. 
God to command us to be holy as he is holy. So in other words, he command us to have the same mind in him that is also in Christ Jesus. So the very mind and the very thoughts that permeated our, our big brother, Jesus Christ, that allowed him and, and empowered him and permitted him and, and fortified him to do the will of his father is that same mind that we're supposed to have. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited that we have not a high priest who has been touched with the feelings of our infirmities as he's walked this earth to understand how to cry out on our behalf as the cry has gone out. He is on the right hand of the Father interceding for us, crying out for us that we may hear the sound which is about to be blown, the ram's horn. So without any further delay, that was just my little intro. You know how I do. I'm a, I'm a talker and I run my mouth, but I love to teach the word of God and help bring an understanding to the body of Christ. So I want to talk about the privileges of holiness because holiness has a privilege. When you have a state of mind and everything about the word of God is to renew your mind, not to change your behavior because as a man thinketh so his mind is renewed so his behavior will begin to line up. And that's according to your purpose, that's according to God's willing and dealing for your life and that's according to your personal relationship. So there's privileges of being holy. It's privileges to having the mind of Christ. It's privileges. And unfortunately, we're trying to live by the privileges of God and not have yet experienced a renewing in our mind. So damaged places. I'm reading from Deuteronomy 7 and I'm just going to read the first verse, but I love this. I love the book of Deuteronomy, but I do love this particular chapter because it gives some insight as I have questioned if I have cried out before God and I said, okay, I know that there's more to what I've been experiencing just being in church for 30 plus years, basically all my life as I was raised. And now it's time for a change. It's now it's time to get results. And that's why I understand that I am a dunamis woman. That's why I understand that you are the I am a dunamis woman as well. Verse one, when the Lord your God brings you into the land, into a place in your soul, that's where your mind is gonna go. You are about to enter and occupy he will clear away many nations ahead of you. So many nations that are ahead of us were the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. These seven nations are all more powerful than you. Verse two, but when the Lord your God hands these nations over to you and you conquer them, that's why you're more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. You can't do this by yourself. You have to be in Christ Jesus. And I'm gonna go a little bit deeper than that. Uh, you must completely destroy them. He says, make no treaties with them and show them no mercy. So without even going any further, because it's so powerful, that, that verse one and two has really revolutionized my life. It has really changed my life and not only mine, but a host of women, uh, dunamis women here at Dunamis Women and Ramp International Ministries, uh, as well as men. But it's unfortunately that most of the men don't want to embrace this because they have a difficult time. But we as women uh, embrace it, not to say that we're better than, but to actually go into a power of travail as God has brought us into this land to conquer them. So before I can even intercede and travail to birth real awesome men, I first have to conquer various aspects of my soul. And damaged places is the place that I have to recognize that has been damaged so I can conquer them. So just think about it. When he say he bring you into this land, you know, I'm always, you know, challenging people. You know, what is this land of, of, of milk and honey? You know, I'm going to send you to a land flowing with milk and honey. Well, literally, you don't see no milk and honey flowing out of your house. You don't see no milk and honey flowing out of your car. You don't see no milk and honey flowing out of the bank. You know, it's a land that has you have now have to come into a place and time within your mind, within your soul, within the deepest part of your emotions to say, hey, something about me have to be renewed. My thinking have to change. And that place I have to learn about. So I have to learn about the damages. I have to learn about what has overtaken me, what has occupied me. So we went over and I want you to, to, to even get a, a series of this as we continue to learn about it. We've talked about the Hittites and briefly talked about the Girgashites, but I want to briefly talk about on this particular special edition, this segment, the Amorites. Amorites is a stronghold and all of these are tribes of people that had predominantly been trained, conditioned according to their environment, according to their views, according to pride, uh, a, a way of thinking. You know, it's a way of thinking and the behaviors 
based upon their mindset, exhibited these attributes of an Amorite. It exhibited the attributes. And they are around us now. And, and I don't want you to just look externally. I am, I am taking this time because I can't change nobody else until I first learn how to change myself. And literally, I can't change anybody else when I do that. But when I change myself, I promise you, my environment will change. When I change myself, it's either two things going to happen. And I'm here to talk to, this about, talk to you about this, particularly as an emotional management coach. Either people are going to come draw closer to you because of the Christ on the inside of you, or either they're going to flee away from you because they do not want to embrace the Christ on the inside of you. This is how we develop in God. And, 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 you, and I, I was talking about you being and I being a conqueror, more than a conqueror, in Christ Jesus. Well, Christ Jesus versus Jesus Christ have two different connotations. It's all one and the same. But when you're talking about Jesus Christ, he is our Lord. He is our Savior. And he is now occupying a seat in our soul that he has to be developed and grow just like a baby. A baby just don't come. You don't conceive. And now you're nine months pregnant all of a sudden and you're ready to have this baby. And the baby is not in your womb basically uh, as an 18-year-old. You know, there's developmental stages and processes that have to take place naturally. Well, so it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. Jesus Christ, as we adhere to his word, grows on the inside of us. That's why he give us strategies throughout his word. He give us uh, commandments throughout his word. And the first one is that you love him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. So that's the first thing you have to do. But now as the developmental stage have take place, now we come into encounter with Christ Jesus. And that's where his glory is going to be revealed through you because of your development, because of your maturation, because you have conquered the land, because you have understood that these places have become damaged due to my environments and my past inflictions and some decisions that I made that I did not understand why I made them, but the residue is still there. Now he's ready to heal your land. So I'm going to take a break and I'm going to come right back. I want you to stay tuned for this commercial because it's going to be very insightful for you. And I'm going to come back and talk more about Amorite spirit as you prepare yourself for a movement as we come to a city near you. I'm Pastor D. I'll be right back. Uh, when I think about the spirit of Hittite, I think about one specific time just being in a very low state in my life and my son was uh, getting close to his second birthday and I remember uh, barricading myself in a room with him with a box of crackers and just leaving him pretty much the entire day with a box of crackers while I just slept. I mean, we were barricaded in the room together, but I mean, no hope, no joy, windows closed, uh, just dark, just in a really desolate place in the depths of my soul. And I, I thank God that he was able to get me past that point. But for years, my children were my only motivation to come out of that simply because I didn't want them to end up there as well. So I fought to come out of that place, but it was a great struggle, but I knew that it couldn't be solely dependent upon them, that I had purpose in the earth beyond being the mother of a son and daughter, that, you know, there were things that are on the inside of me. Also well, there you have it. I just thought that it would be very, very enlightening uh, for you just to really, really hear the heart of a powerful woman who has been engaged with this ministry for, for, for several years now and have gone through processes to let you know that this is not just a word that's written in black and white, but it's literally live off the tablets of the heart of God that it may touch our heart and bring a change in our lives. So I want you to really, really be encouraged that I'm not here to put you down, but I'm here to give you understanding that you may come out as God have sent you to this land and now sending you to conquer a stronghold that has been fortified in your mind or learn strategies on how to understand when you have been approached and inflicted and trying to keep you down by other people who have not become aware of this Amorite spirit that has inflicted their soul, their mind and their emotions. So Amorites, it literally means mountain people mountain people. People, and I'm going to talk to you from a clinical as well as a biblical perspective because that's what God has called me and mandated me to do. 
it, it, there are people in their soul. They'll still mind in your emotions as well as you know, you know myself. And I have to check myself uh, that based upon pride and the exaltation of their mind, uh, make them think too highly of themselves, of who they really are. Uh, Romans 12, uh, 1, 2, and 3. If you look, take some time and read it, but I'm going to just briefly tell you about it and paraphrase it because the first uh, verse tells us, I beseech you, brothers, Paul says, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, pure, and acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service. Many of us have a difficult time doing that because of this damaged place. And then it talks about in 2, as it proceeds on, is that, and be not conformed to this world. Let not your mind be conformed to the cosmos, all these beautiful adorning things that come to distract you uh, of this world, but be transformed. That means go through your metamorphosis process and go through your process of change that your mind may be completely changed. Now, you know that's going to take some time. That's not an overnight process as you adhere to the word of truth with specificity for your life. And then it continues to say that you may prove you, not God, you, me, everyone, may prove the acceptable will of God for your life. What is acceptable to God for me, from me, is not what is acceptable to God as it relates to your life. He made us all unique. We have similarities, we have things in common, but God is looking at the very uniqueness of what he's put in me and how he created me to be, and he's looking at that with you. We complement one another, but the uniqueness is what causes this dunamis power as we come together to do exploits. And as I continue on Romans 12, 3, it talks about don't think too highly of yourself because God has given all of us a measure of grace. And that's where the Amorites have lost sight of. They think too highly of themselves. They have put themselves on pedestal. They have put themselves in a place that they dominate over people. Have you ever felt kind of afraid to, to go around people and, and you felt inferior? Uh, well, some of that is you and then some of that is an Amorite spirit. Because of that inferiority complex that you have, you feel like you cannot go and speak to this big time preacher or pastor. Now, they're not making you feel that way because they're probably the best thing like sliced bread. But because of your inferiority and that complex and because you've been inflicted by an Amorite spirit, it makes you think of yourself lowly and it makes you put them up there. So Amorites, they love the places to go into the valley. And because you've inf been inflicted by people who have thought highly of themselves, it could be anyone. It could be the person you was married to. It could be your mom. It could have been your dad. They didn't know. That's the principality that have resided in their soul due to their upbringing, due to their environment, due to their dysfunctions, due to the damaged places within their soul. If you're living and breathing, everybody has been damaged. It's not an and or or. It's, it's not an if. It is what it is. And we have to now understand what has been inflicting us. These are ancestry strongholds. They have been living a long time before you were thought of by your mother, but you were still thought of by God, which is the reason why he sent his son Jesus to die on that cross, that we, you and I, and all the world may be healed as they come into agreement with God and come out of agreement with these strongholds. So just check yourself because, you know, when women have been hurt, and I want to particularly talk about women and two women. When we've been hurt, when we've been damaged, uh, we can easily take a mindset of an Amorite. Uh, we can become dominant, we can become controlling, and we want to give orders. See, that's an Amorite. We want to give orders to our husband, we want to give orders you know, to our children. Now, I'm not saying you don't tell your children what to do, but it's a difference of you giving high, dominant, demanding orders as opposed to giving instructions. When I give instructions, I have to teach you, particularly at a certain age. When I ask of you to do something, it has a whole totally different connotation, which me telling you, nobody should feel inferior to one another. Nobody should be feeling like they have to walk on eggshells in their home, in their church, in their ministry, in their workplace. I promise you, when you feel like there's eggshells and you, oh Lord, they coming home. Oh Lord, the boss is here today. Oh Lord. <laughs> there is a spirit lurking of an Amorite. There's many things of this world system, not the kingdom, but the world system that has caused this cosmos thinking 
It could be your degree. It could be uh, the car you drive. It could be the clothes you wear. It could be the, the, the label of the shoes that you wear because these things, this cosmos, all these brands and all this, which is nothing wrong with making money. Every business do, but it's not for us to get high minded and think too highly of ourselves that we lose sight of who God created us to be and we put others down. That's why there's a breaking point. If you don't deal with this in order to gain an understanding, God will break you in many areas of your life only to bring you to a base that you may only abound again, to bring you at a place of humility that you will be able to be exalted. That's what it talks about in his word, that you ex uh, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that in due season, in due season, as you have gone through your processes, as you have yielded to the will of God, as he has broken and brought healing to those damaged places that has been broken, then in that due season, when you're ready, you will have the privilege of holiness. You will have the privilege to walk into, into a place that you will conquer it and it will not conquer you. You will walk into that place. Everybody uh, is believing God for something. And a lot of people in this dispensation of time that we're living in is believing God for a way out, believing God for a way out of debt, believing God for a way out of a marriage, believing God for a way out of a, a, a poverty mentality, believing God out of a way out of a poverty situation. And many times we're believing God for money. But you don't even know what to do with it. Because if he was to give you the monetary privilege of possessing money and, and Ecclesiastes talk about money it gives you options it answers all things but if that spirit is not pure and if your soul has not been healed and delivered you will walk in an Amorite spirit you will dictate you will control you will dominate you will flaunt it your high minded self nobody can tell you anything and many of us are like that broke <laughs> it's nothing worse Oh my God, I have dealt with so many people as a coach, counselor, and a pastor. And it's nothing worse than seeing someone who is broke and struggling that has a spirit of pride, Amorite, and they can't hear nothing. That's the spirit of Leviathan. And those are the, the strongholds that couples up with Amorite spirits that they want to dominate and the mountains in their mind. And that's why Jesus said in Matthew 17, uh, as I begin to close this particular edition, he asked his disciples, they could not, they could not cast out the devil. And, and, and they was walking with Jesus. And he said, oh, ye of little faith, you know, you're supposed to speak to this mountain and say, be thou removed. It wasn't literally a mountain. It wasn't literally uh, the big figure of problems like we have been taught, oh, I got this mountain, this big old problem, and I'm just speaking it to it. It's the high places that the enemy, that Amorite had fortified in that person's mind and the disciples was not able to recognize it and that's why he said oh you have little faith because with the Amorite spirit it will make your faith look very very small people of great faith when they have entered into a land of Amorite it will make their faith look like it just shrinks up like this now they have made faith for all kind of stuff and once they encounter the land of the Amorite their faith will shrink up because they have not understood that it was the high mountain and what plain field that is in the mind of that person that they had to speak to and say, be thou removed. Well, I have given you enough information. I know it has literally kind of blown your mind a little bit, but I hope it didn't too much because I want to engage with you even the more. This is just a little snippet. Oh my God, I taught on this series at Dunamis Woman and Ram uh, Ministries Empowerment Clinic for over two years and it was just more revelation and more revelation and that was a few years ago and God has now resurrected it for such a time as this that the damaged places within our soul because of the Cairo season that we have embarked upon he he is crying out be free be healed be restored and be delivered I would love to see you at a city near us where we're coming to you and you're going to come to us and we're going to engage. But in the meantime, I want you to listen and I want you to continue to meditate on his word. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. 1-855-BE-DUNAMIS. That's Pastor D. 1-855-BE-DUNAMIS. And you can visit our website, www.dunamis-woman.com. It's right there on your screen. Email us. We will engage with you. We have a powerful team that is waiting for you. Love you.
Be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for listening to Dunamis Woman and Ram Today. I am Michelle Obasi. I just want to tell you a little bit about me. Four years ago, I came to emotional healing and I became a product of the emotional management coaching of Dee Collins. My first visit, I was very broken. I had recently been divorced, but just in a, in a situation that was not healthy for myself and my child. Through the years, I became homeless at one point. I had become very depressed. I had some really serious issues, uh, ranging from uh, thoughts of suicide, ranging from just pride and emotions and, and withdrawing uh, from those around me. But within that four years, I thank God for that journey and I thank God for being a part of Dunamis Woman and Ram International Ministries up under the spiritual leadership of Dee Collins. Because in that, she herself had a program for entrepreneurs. I didn't know I was an entrepreneur four years ago. So she put me in her transitional home. From that, I was able to not only start my business, I also was able to get a home for not only my daughter, but myself. Emotionally, my mind, my emotions, they're all lining up to the will of God for my life. And I'm excited. Not only excited, but I'm living. Four years ago, I was just existing. I admonish each and every one of you to become a kingdom partner with Dunamis Woman and Ram International Ministries. This ministry is an active ministry. They don't, she just doesn't preach and teach, but she actually has programs. She has uh, just workshops. She has coaching that brings you back to life heals the broken places, heals the damaged places in your life. And so again, I admonish you, $30, and this is a coaching session that I went to, 30 minute power session. Also, you will get a copy of How to Pray on Purpose with Power, D. Collins's book. I read the book, I live by the book, I actually carry the book around with me. It's not the book, but it's actually the truth that's being spread throughout it. It's the truth that comes out during those power sessions. It's the truth of the entire program and the ministry. The ministry is kingdom, the ministry is about truth, but it's also about healing for the soul. So again, I'm Michelle Obasi and I am admonishing you. This is a $110 value, $30 kingdom partner under Dunamis Woman and Ram International Ministries. I thank you and I look forward to hearing from you.